welcome back all the distinguished delegates now we are just about to start after lunch so now we move on now to item 11 but remember we have item 11 12 13 14 long way to go so i request all the members help us to complete this please help us number one number two when you are having your speech think about the time two minutes it will help for us to move forward smoothly thank you very much we'll go forward okay follow up on elements inscribed on the list of convention that is item 11 so i would like to now give the floor to mr curtis he is also after lunch to introduce this item to us please over to you mr curtis thank you mr chairperson um so allow me to begin by recalling the background uh, to this item which is included on the agenda of the present session following the request by the committee at its 14th session in 2019 for the Secretariat to report in summary form on the information received from third parties concerning elements inscribed on the list of the convention, as well as those under process for possible inscription. This follows the practice that started in 2018. And with your permission, Mr. Je Chairperson, I would like to ask my colleague, Juliet Hopkins, to give us some more details on this item. Yes, of course, go ahead. Thank you, Tim. Thank you, Mr. Chairperson. The working document for this item provides an overview of correspondences received between October 2019 and June 21 in summary form. The correspondences were administered using the guidelines for the treatment of correspondence from the public or other concerned parties with regard to nominations adopted by the seventh session of the committee in 2012. During the reporting period, six cases concerning inscribed elements were the subject of correspondence. Five of these cases related to elements inscribed on the representative list, while one case related to an element on the urgent safeguarding list. The correspondence addressed various issues that may affect the viability of the element, such as concerns regarding misappropriation, the requirements of mutual respect, and changes to spaces associated with the practice of the element, a summary of which is presented in Annex 1 to the present document. Correspondence was received from a range of stakeholders, including community members, individuals external to the community concerned, academia, non-governmental organisations, and media. One correspondence that was received anonymously was not treated due to the lack of the sender's details, which was deemed to compromise the credibility of the content. In terms of regional distribution, there were two cases from Electoral Group 1, two cases from Electoral Group 2, and two cases from Electoral Group 3. Amongst the cases treated, only one state party provided a response. In terms of ongoing nominations, there were two cases concerning nominations under process that were the subject of correspondence. The details of these cases are provided in Annex 2 and were both in relation to elements for possible inscription on the representative list. Ladies and gentlemen, needless to say that these issues regarding the follow-up of inscribed elements and ongoing nominations are closely linked to the ongoing global reflection on the listing mechanisms of the 2003 Convention. Further discussion and details on the progress of this reflection will be presented and examined under item 14 of the present session. However, in the meantime, the committee may wish to request the Secretariat to continue this practice of bringing to its attention information received from third parties concerning the status of inscribed elements, which has proven to be a useful exercise for enhancing the follow-up of inscribed elements so far. Thank you. Thank you very much, Juliet Hopkins. And also I must thank Mr. Curtis also, and I thank both of them. Uh, I now open the floor to all the delegates. Does anybody wish to take the floor just after the lunch?
so I see none. <coughs> uh, dear, dear colleagues, I think. Latvia, Latvia. Ah, yes, I got one. Latvia, over to you, Latvia, please. On behalf of Latvian delegation, I would like to congratulate you, uh, Mr. Chairperson, on the overall smooth advancement of important discussions during this committee session. Latvia has received correspondence from Mr. Tim Curtis regarding the letter from a Soviet community organization named Soviet Parliament to UNESCO Secretariat. We really appreciate the passionate involvement of the Soviet community in safeguarding their intangible cultural heritage. And we are in continuous dialogue with the community to find ways for working together and addressing the issues they raised. That we would like to make a clarification concerning the preparation of our answer to UNESCO Secretariat, taking into consideration that at the beginning of the next year, several planning documents at national and regional level in Latvia will become operational for intangible cultural heritage safeguarding and with attention to cultural spaces in particular, we consider that it would be appropriate to include the actual information into the official letter once those decisions are taken. That would allow to be, to be more comprehensive and detailed in our response. In conclusion, we would also like to inform the committee that the third periodic report on the safeguarding of the Soviet cultural space has just been prepared in close cooperation with the Soviet community and a memorandum of understanding is going to be signed in the coming days among 14 stakeholders involving Soviet community organizations, state institutions, as well as education research institutions, including with involvement of a UNESCO chair. Thank you, Mr. Chairperson. Uh, thank you so much, Latvia. <laughs> yes, anybody? So, I think I see none. Dear colleagues, I think that we are ready to move now to propose decision on this item. Please refer to document 11 and its draft decision in paragraph 7. That is 16.com 11. So, may I ask the committee to adopt draft decision 16.com 11 as shown on the screens and let us proceed paragraph by paragraph as usual. So paragraph one, citing the document we have examined. Any objections? I see none. So I would like to adopt paragraph one. Adopted one. And let me go to two. Paragraph two, recalling our previous decisions. That is paragraph two. I see none, no objection. Therefore, I adopt it. Adopted. I go to paragraph three now, noting the correspondence received concerning inscribed and ongoing nominations and encouraging states, parties concerned to provide their responses. Are there any objections? No objection. I see no objections, therefore I adopt it. Adopted. Now go to paragraph four. Requesting the Secretariat to continue to bring to the committee's attention the correspondence received from third parties. Any objections? I see no objections, so I adopt it. Adopted, four. So we have now adopted each of the paragraphs and we need to adopt the decision as a whole. Yeah, so seeing, seeing no objections, I therefore declare decision 16.com 11 adopted. Adopted. Thank you very much. Thank you, that's 11 is over now. We'll move on to 12 now. <clears throat>